We're all tired of the endless yuzu forks. Every day, a new project shows up promising something fresh, exciting, and optimized. But when we try them, it's the same thing, just rebranded. No real changes, no real progress. But today, we finally have something different. Introducing Kenji NX for Android, built from the powerful Ryujinx codebase. And as we all know, Ryujinx isn't just any emulator. It's the only real competitor yuzu has ever had. In this video, I'll guide you step by step on how to install Kenji NX emulator on Android with the best settings. Let's get started. Let's install the emulator. Kenji NX used to be available on GitHub, but unfortunately, the repository has been taken down. The exact reason isn't confirmed. It could be due to a DMCA request or a potential policy violation. Whether it was Ryujinx related or something else, we're not sure. Hopefully it will return soon or be available through another source. But no need to worry. Kenji NX is still available on the internet through other sources. After installation, open the app. It will ask for your permission to manage files allow access. You will see an empty screen because we haven't added any game sources yet. If you already used any Ryujinx Android emulator, you can notice the interface is the same. But our main concern is whether it's optimized or just a copy. Click on the Ryujinx button at the top right corner. It seems like a profile, but there's no option to add or edit. Then go to settings. Yes, there are a few changes since I used Ryujinx Android six months ago. Under the interface, you can organize the game as a grid or list. Add a game folder here. Kenji NX supports both NSP and XCI formats. Disclaimer, the emulator itself is legal, but using illegal ROMs is forbidden. I do not support or provide access to pirated games, so please use legal copies for your safety. Now we need to import production keys. Without these keys, Ryujinx won't launch any games. To install the keys, tap on Import Prod Keys, navigate to your keys folder, and select the Prod Keys file. It will ask you if you want to continue, simply click on Yes. If you want to add firmware, tap Firmware and select the firmware file from your file manager. Adding the latest firmware improves game compatibility, helps with performance and stability, and reduces graphical and AA bugs, but this step is optional. You can download app data and browse the folder Kenji NX has created in your phone storage. Input is actually the controller, but I did not find any option for customization. No need to change any option here, it's safe to use the default. Developers must add proper options here. Play a few games and adjust the controller stick sensitivity. If you enable docked mode, it will increase the resolution but might reduce performance. So keep it disabled if your device isn't powerful enough. In the system section, VSync set to switch is okay. You can set up to 12 gigabytes DRAM, that is huge. But I prefer to use six or eight gigabytes. Just enable performance mode. In the CPU section, I think everything is okay. You don't need to change any option. In the graphics section, Enable the Texture Recompression option for better performance, and you can set the resolution scale up to 4x, but I prefer 1x, which is 720p. Anisotropic filtering set to 2x. Another important feature is the custom GPU driver. By default, it selects your device's GPU, but you can install custom GPU drivers for better performance. Unfortunately, you can't install GPU drivers if your device doesn't have Snapdragon. Other options are not important, so leave them as default and return to the main screen. If your games aren't showing up on the main screen, just click the refresh button and they should appear immediately. Now let's address some concerns. To be honest, Kinji NX is not ready to compete with Citroen or even the new Eden emulator. Kenji NX is still under development for Android, and it lacks some essential features such as comprehensive graphics settings, orientation control, aspect ratio adjustments, and full control customization. Additionally, Kenji NX hasn't released an official compatibility list yet, so we don't have detailed information about which games will work flawlessly. It's worth keeping an eye on updates from the dev team as they continue to improve the emulator. That's it. See you in the next video. Take care.